Hi, this video is for the Qigong students. We're going to learn the next two techniques of the Ba Dante, the A section bouquet. So hopefully you've been practicing and you remember the first two techniques. The first one was called Suang Sou Tuo Tian Li San Zhao or Liang Sou Tuo Tian Li San Zhao Two hands hold up the heaven to raise the San Zhao. I'm just going to demonstrate one time, okay? This is the first technique. Suang Sou Tuo Tian Li San Zhao Two hands hold up the heaven to raise the San Zhao. The second technique is Kai Gong Si Se Diao Left, right, draw the ball to shoot the ball. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate one time. Okay, so hopefully you've been practicing and you remember the first two techniques. The third technique that we're going to do, that we're going to learn today, is called Tiao Li Pi Wei Xu Dan Ju. To regulate the stomach and spleen, we raise one hand. Okay, so first we're going to inhale, one hand goes up, one hand goes down. Okay, so in general we kind of have to lock out the arms, keep both, keep both arms nice and bent, make, make sure your knees are bent, make sure your elbows are bent. Then we're going to switch hands, we're going to go through the motion like we're holding a ball, we're not really holding a ball, but we're just going through the motion. Hold it for as long as you want, whenever you're ready, exhale, same thing. And then one arm, one hand up, one hand down. This is called Tiao Li Pi Wei Xu Dan Ju. To regulate the stomach and spleen, we raise one hand. Okay, so exhale, inhale, hold it, hold it as long as you want. Okay, head and body is still straight, arms are slightly bent, don't lock up the arms, and of course, don't lock up the knee. Whenever you're ready, then exhale, inhale, hold it as long as you want, and exhale. Okay, one more. Inhale, hold it as long as you want, and exhale. Okay, so that is the third technique, Tiao Li Pi Wei Xu Dan Ju, to regulate the stomach and spleen, we raise one hand. Okay, now we're going to do the fourth technique. The fourth technique is very simple. It's called Wu Lao Qi Sang Wang Hou Chao. Okay, Wu Lao Qi Sang Wang Hou Chao. Okay, so we gaze backwards to alleviate the five taxations and the seven injuries. Okay, so very simple. We're going to go to the left side first, open the arms, and look behind you. Head and body are still straight, but you're looking behind you. Okay, hold it as long as you want, whenever you're ready, and exhale. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, hold it as long as you want, and exhale. And again to the left side, inhale, Hold it as long as you want, and exhale. To the right side, inhale. Hold it as long as you want, and exhale. One more time on both sides. Inhale, hold it as long as you want, and exhale. One more time to my right side. Inhale, hold it as long as you want, and exhale, okay? This technique, number four, is called Wu Lao Qi Sang Huang Ho Chao gaze backwards to alleviate the five taxations and seven injuries, okay? So, I have a question for you. What are the five taxations, Wu Lao, and what are the seven injuries, Qi San? Okay, that is your homework assignment. Okay, look it up, especially if you're an acupuncture student, and we will answer. I will answer this question on the next video, okay? But I do want to emphasize a couple things about this technique. Very common mistake is some people will lean backwards, okay? There is no leaning backwards, and some people will turn the body. There is no leaning backwards, there is no turning the body in this version, okay? In this technique, in this version technique, there is no leaning backwards, there is no turning body, okay? You're just turning the head, opening your arms, and then you bring it back to Wuji, okay? Of course, same thing on the other side, all right? So please practice, and we will talk about this technique in class, okay? This concludes the video for the Qigong class, okay? Um, third technique and fourth technique.